Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system loop, sys loop. This topic will be on basics of sys logic solvers, safety instrumented system logic solvers. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. What are sys logic solver? Sys logic solvers are built with very high speed microprocessors and perform the required logical functions. Usually the process, processing speed lies in milliseconds. Sys logic solver is typically made up of redundant double or triple processors, power supplies and human interfaces. Here we are seeing on picture having a redundant PLC configuration. Here we are seeing two processors having the same fun functionality and working in parallel. This is a redundant configuration. We have two redundant communication modules as well and a redundant interface modules which is going to the other system and power supply models etc. Okay, what are sys logic solver? Sys logic solver will process many safety instrumented functions concurrently. So, sys logic solver is capable of doing multiple logical functions concur concurrently because they will be running in sequence that whole processing scan sequence is around few milliseconds only. Okay, sys logic solver will have continuous monitoring the healthiness of processor also known as watchdog. In case of any running processor fails to perform, secondary logic solver takes over the control and error is reported back to the control room via an annunciation system, system alarm etc. As we saw in the earlier uh, slide also, the configuration was a redundant configuration wherein two processors having the same application program uh, are working to, uh, parallelly and in this case in this diagram we are seeing three triple model redundant which means three processors are there you are seeing the picture over here having three processors and uh, two power supply modules it is having the communication modules to the external interface and the input output models etc so in this case we are having three processors working parallelly in case of failure of any one particular processor the second processor get, takes over and performs continue to perform the same function as required so as there are three processors doing the simultaneous functions this is known as triple modular redundant this particular technology is being manufactured and supplied to the plants by some manufacturers okay we will further go over the sys logic solver certification requirements international electrotechnical commission iec provides all the requirements necessary to design implement and operate safety system logic solver in a safety relevant application according to the certification there are international agencies who govern the requirements of the logic solvers and provide the necessary design and implementation standards. The logic solvers, the manufacturers has to comply to it and then produce the products accordingly. The certifying authority assesses each logic solver intended for use in sys applications, the hardware, software and safety manual of the logic solver is analyzed for the purpose of application to be used. Each manufacturer has to provide the complete documentation about the hardware and the software being developed and safety manual of that particular logic solver for the standard, standard agencies to review and give an approval. New logic solvers purchased for SIS applications in any plant or to be certified according to the IEC 61508 standard. IEC stands for International Electrotechnical Commission. 61508 is a standard number which is for the manufacturers. So any logic solvers purchased has to be certified by the IEC requirement. They have to 
abide by the IEC requirements. Safety manual must be prepared for all certified syslogic solver. The safety manual describes any limitation applicable for operation and maintenance. It also addresses diagnostics, testing, programming languages and the SIL level for which the device is capable. A safety manual contains uh, several details about its application requirement, program requirements, and the redundancy applicability, everything. It will be a detailed document giving all the details and the internal te testing calculations for that hardware. It is not that any manufacturers of any PLC can supply a, P supply a system or PLC saying that it is Mm, it, can, it can be used for the sys applications because sys application is for protecting the plant from any hazards so the particular systems the PLCs used in the sys application they need to be certified by the International Electro Technical Commission and the relevant agencies approved by them they have to abide by the standards developed by International Electro Technical Commission so IEC 61508 one such standard which is applicable for the manufacturers to uh, abide by the requirements of the standard. Okay, Sys logic solver application program. Sys logic solver application program of the Sys shall be in accordance with the application program safety requirements. Uh, like uh, I described earlier, any program cannot be written and the PLCs used in the sys applications they need to go through the set of standard set of rules given by the IEC and then prepare the required logics so application programs should follow a method a standard methodological way they are there are different types of application programs different types of functions available like function block diagram, ladder logic diagram, uh, cause and effect matrix like that. But whatever is up applicable and approved by the International Electro Technical Commission has to be abide. Sys logic solver application program to be designed in such a way that all parts of the application programs are executed on every application program scan. Process safety time requirements shall be considered in establishing application program scanning requirements. There shall be a uh, process safety time for each of the functions to uh, do the processing. So that has to be considered when establishing the program. Sys logic solver application program and data are to be designed in such a way that they can be modified as and when required. Any program revision has to be monitored, controlled for its version management, backup and restoration procedure. Application programs shall be built and developed in such a way that any modification requirements as per the process need as, uh, can be accommodated uh, with the proper care and it can be modified at any time by the uh, certified people and who are uh, doing the program they have to monitor the revision because from for example it will be a revision level from 0 to uh, 999 or something so every uh, every revision has to undergo the un undergo through the revision change so that whenever any uh, application program error happens or the logic did not perform as per the process requirement or, or as per the intent the developers or engineers who are working on it can go back and verify what has been modified and what is the mistake had happened that uh, avoids uh, that prevents the logical program execution to uh, not happen like that so it can be monitored and in case of any error happen that can be corrected so the version management is very important as well as the backup uh, of the programs is also a critical one because whenever there is any uh, PC crash or something is happening 
then it is very difficult and there is a power supply failure for the processor racks or something uh, there could be a chance of the program getting uh, deleted totally or there could be a chance of any crash on the processor itself it's a rare, rare possibility because all these systems have redundant power supply arrangement also but in worst case scenario there could be a chance that the complete power supply may go off and there is a chance of the program getting removed totally so in such cases the backup available on the engineering workstation pc has to be uploaded to the processor and uh, restoration procedure that, that's what in case of any total failure of the system that uh, plc has to be brought back in line to ensure that the safety instrumented system application comes back for the safe operation of the plant so this is a restoration procedure also has to be properly written sys logic solver communication we are just seeing the communication um, design of any sys communication interface shall ensure that any failure of the communication interface shall not adversely affect the ability of the sys to achieve or maintain a safe state of the process because the sys systems as we have seen in uh, earlier slides and we have been seeing in multiple uh, occurrences that they are having one sil certification they are capable of doing certain level of this uh, sil requirement safety integrity level requirement so uh, all the parts of the logic server also need to be having the certification and it has to have the capabilities uh, uh, which includes for the communication network as well communication interface to be robust to withstand any electromagnetic interference including power surges without causing a dangerous failure of the sys because there are hundreds of cables running in a cable tray and uh, normally the network cables does not carry a heavy potential the maximum temp uh, voltage will be around 20 24 volts whereas that there will be some cables running quite closer or adjacent in an adjacent tray having uh, 11 kb 33 kb like that high voltage capacity uh, though there is a physical segregation between these two cabling there could be a chance that due to any cable fault on the power cable uh, emi interference can happen and which can hamper the communication to drop this is similar to our uh, mobile networks wherever whenever we are going inside any closed area or um, very far, far and the high altitude and all sometimes we are not getting a proper signal so it's something more or less similar to it so when we go through the detailed study about the safety instrumented system as well as the basic process control system so we will understand about the different communication interfaces available most popular communication protocols include OPC TCP IP and serial communications with the plant DCS and other systems see here we are having basic process control system its modules and its another set of uh, modules power supply and here in this uh, part of the big uh, network graph diagram we are seeing uh, that some transmitters working in, in an uh, wireless way they are connected through a wireless gateway and communicating with each other and communic then communicate into the system and the other part of the system is a safety instrumented system wherein uh, there will be redundant processor or triple model redundant processor having a interface with the field devices and also having an interface with the other systems in the like DCS system and the human machine interface etc. So there will be number of communication cables running between the sys system logic solvers and to the basic process control system so there are different protocols uh, which is described over here like opc tcp ip and serial communications who are having uh, knowledge in the communication and networking uh, can know better about it so this different kind of communications are uh, available with the sys logic solver with their communication interface modules sys logic solver diagnostics sys logic solvers shall be capable of performing diagnostics 
functionality of processors shall be monitored and if there are any troubles in running processor secondary processor to take over automatically some systems have redundancy direction module to do the changeover and there is one more module known as redundancy direction module whenever any failure of particular running processor it will automatically give a command to the secondary processor to take over sys logic solver any errors will be reported immediately and logged as well supposing the running processor uh, fails and it uh, it is not able to do the calculations and it's not able to do the communication with the other systems then that particular processor will stop due to some fault either internal internal fault or some power supply failure for that particular model or something so then the secondary processor will automatically take over and continue to uh, do the safety protections and the processor logics as per the design so in such cases any error occurring has to be reported and it has to be logged so that the same can be retrieved uh, when the plant is in normal conditions and sent to the manufacturer for them to do the analysis and then come out with the diagnostics application level diagnostics are to be implemented such as external watchdogs application data integrity checking and sensor validation to meet the required safety integrity level actually the application level there are to be higher diagnostics which has to be implemented and monitored mm, like watchdogs means it is uh, it's it's a kind of program which is uh, which is con confirming that both the processor are in an healthy state whenever there is any fault any processing uh, sequence uh, issues or errors watchdog will uh, report and then do the changeover so uh, healthiness of the processors is very critical for the safe operation of the plant thank you